Hey, what's up guys? How you doing today? Hey, I just had a visitor in the shop and uh, someone asked me, how do I put on a very common, almost like what we call Sheffield float. They're kind of the inventor of the style, but uh, you'll find some like knockoffs of it, but we have them in various sizes. This was what I would re refer to as like an egg float. How do I install an egg float? I'm going to show you real quick. Stay tuned. Chartreuse is excellent for overcast days. Orange is excellent on sunny days. Pink, I just love pink all the time, to be honest. Okay, so with an egg float, you typically have two different components. You have the float material itself, the like styrofoamy eggs type material, and then you have a lead. Now, some of these come with a hole in the middle. Some of them come without. I like the ones with the hole in the middle. I'd strongly recommend and I'll show you why here in a bit. And that's why we kind of go with Sheffield rather than some of the cheaper knockoff manufacturers that have tried to copy what Sheffield does. What we do is we take some of our line and what I like to do is I rig these up with the fat side of the float, the colorful side most of the time, first. So if you're looking at the egg, it would be the larger side first. So you're gonna thread that through that egg and let it go down. Next, and this is why I like the ones with the hole in the middle, is if you don't get the ones with the hole in the middle, if for whatever reason this gets wore out, and this contact in here, by pushing it in and out, and I'll explain here in a bit, uh, starts to wear down, that lead can fall out. And by doing so, there goes your float. You, you're no longer able to use it. You'll have to tie it on to kind of get by. Uh, but what I'd recommend is getting the ones with the hole in the middle, so that you can thread that on as well next. And if it falls out, it's attached to your line. It's not going anywhere. Whoop, whoop. Now you go up to your desired depth, whatever you want uh, from your bait. Obviously, after you rig this on, this is a float that you're gonna have to put on before you tie your bait on. So obviously, whatever your desired bait might be, in this case, uh, it would be like a little fluke here. I still have the tag on it because I just cut it off. But regardless, uh, you just you set it at desired depth. You then insert the lead in, and you want to push it in all the way. Now, I'm not going to push it in all the way because I want that to be snug for the person who's going to buy this float. Uh, but when you push this all the way in, the bottom of that round piece is going to seat with the top of the egg there. Um, and then you set your whatever desired depth. If for whatever reason uh, you want to go deeper or shallower, all you do is just pull that lead out slide it up or down to your desired depth, and then reinsert it all the way back so that that round piece is flush with the foam. I hope that helps you guys. Uh, we'll have more how-tos. These are all inspired by you guys that come in and ask questions at the shop. So thank you so much. We'll see you again. Talk to you later.